Am I the asshole for refusing to go to my brother's wedding if my son can't go? Some backstory. My brother's 30 male, soon to be wife Tara, 26 female, went to the same high school as me. She was one grade below me but we all knew each other. I, 27 male, have a five-year-old son with an ex-girlfriend who also went to school with us. My ex and my brother's girlfriend hated each other. They were on the same drill team and IDK were jealous of each other, it was some old bullshit petty high school rivalry. Then I guess it got bad because they were both crushing on the same guy and he got with my ex after he rejected Tara. I got with my ex in college. It was a brief thing, we broke up right before my son Jason was born. He's with me full time and my ex is in the picture sometimes but not that much. I found out over a year ago my brother was in a relationship with Tara. And now they're engaged gonna get married in November. Haven't been around Tara much because I'm busy with my own life. When invitations went out my brother called me. He said Tara didn't like Jason being there at their wedding. They've never met before, because he's the son of my ex. She just doesn't like the idea of her sworn enemies, son being at her wedding. I didn't think he was serious because that was all years ago and were you know, adults now. My ex isn't even in our lives so it's not like she'll be there. I kind of got mad at my brother that he'd be cool with his own nephew not being at his wedding. All my other siblings are bringing their kids. My brother pleaded me to go along with this because he wants her to be happy on their special day. So I said you know what fine. But if my son isn't allowed at the wedding then I won't be going either. Now my brother's the one mad at me for turning this into a big deal because he wants his family there. But he's just caught between a rock and a hard place. My parents agree she's being ridiculous and are berating my brother. My other siblings think I should have just agreed and not turned this whole thing into a bigger drama. So I'm on the fence about how I handled things here. If it was a no kids wedding then I'd get that and yeah it is their special day. But my son is the only one not allowed to be there and I don't feel right with excluding him over something childish that was 10 years ago. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. if it was a no kids event then I would say no biggie but since kids are allowed, the bride is being the R. It's not your son's fault that the bride has something against his mother good on you for standing up for your son. I know this might be a slippery slope fallacy but if you allow it for the wedding, what else is she going to exclude your son from? Just doesn't make much sense on her end. Not the asshole. ask him what the long term plan is. Is he planning on cutting his nephew out of his life forever due to his fiance, wife's childhood feud with the child's practically non-existent mother? Does this mean she will make him or expect you to miss family events, Christmas, birthdays etc if your child is there? Where are the boundaries that she expects around your son? Because believe me, not attending the wedding is just the first step. Your brother needs to think long and hard about this situation and what it will really mean for his future relationships with his family. Your brother is gonna regret this marriage. What kind of adult holds a grudge against a child for something they weren't alive for that one of their parents did? I highly suggest you meet with them, both families included and have a frank discussion. Not the asshole. It starts with the wedding and then what? You and your brother start trading off on who shows up to family gatherings because this immature little girl wants to punish an actual child for some petty high school drama that happened years ago. Did your brother really expect you to be okay with this? If he wants to commit his life to being miserable with bitter Betty, that's his business. But you don't need to buy into. Keep protecting your child. Not the asshole your brother needs an intervention or something. He's marrying someone who hates and intends to visibly exclude his own five-yo nephew from his life. Is he for real? Not the asshole, obviously. Also, I'm so glad your parents have your back. The other thing to consider, like many others have stated, is how is she going to handle all future family events? When they have children, will Jason be banned from their birthday parties? If they host Christmas, will he be banned from that? He's not that far in age from being able to pick up on and understand if she treats him with the level of malice it seems she has for him. Honestly, I'd tell your brother that either he tells his future wife that she needs to treat Jason with decency, for Christ's sake, he is a child, or that you will be going no contact with them. Because as soon as Jason is old enough to pick up on it, it could cause some serious emotional harm for him. Not the asshole. It starts with excluding your son from the wedding. Eventually Tara will exclude him from other events that involve her and her kids. I don't want my kids to associate with the child of my sworn enemy, good job standing up for your son. Your siblings and Tara are all jerks for thinking it's okay to exclude one child for such a stupid reason.
NTA. Maybe in a couple of years you can bring your son to the divorce. Info. Then I guess it got bad because they were both crushing on the same guy and he got with my ex after he rejected Tara. Is your brother really cool with his bride being so hung up on some other guy, that she still refers to the woman who got him as her sworn enemy, and finds even the sight of that enemy's child to be too traumatic a reminder? Not the asshole Tara is setting the terms for her special day. You are accommodating her wishes in the way that protects your son. Now if your brother has different terms than his bride for their special day, they get to work it out. Not the asshole. Imagine having to explain to a child that his uncle is saying he can't come to his wedding because his soon-to-be aunt-in-law had a problem with his father. Your son would feel like it's entirely his fault and would be burdened with unjustifiable guilt because a grown-ass woman can't get the hell over her issues with a past partner. Simple as that. Either your brother has you both there since you both are family or neither of you go. There's no compromise that works without hurting an innocent little boy. Now my brother's the one mad at me for turning this into a big deal because he wants his family there. Is it completely lost on your brother that your son his nephew is part of his family? Not the asshole tour brother will be having a miserable marriage. Wow. Not the asshole. What kind of high school drama is this? Your brother needs to have a convo with Tara and draw her out with more questions or draw a line in the sand. That isn't your problem. If your kid isn't invited, assuming other kids are allowed and this isn't an adults only party, then don't go. Not the asshole. Honestly, your brother should have seen this is a red flag. Once Jason gets older, he can't be excluded forever. Tara will either not come or cause drama over this. Not the asshole at all. And being totally honest, instead of your to soon sill being a bridezilla, she is being stupid, nonsense, and even cruel with a little boy who has nothing to do with an old battle. I think your brother is an asshole too. I mean, she will become soon in his wife, by default, she will become in the aunt of your boy. This is so wrong, you're not an asshole, they are, so please, do a favor to your child and don't go. Not the asshole. Wow. I can't imagine marrying someone who says something like that. First off, kids have nothing to do with the past and her hatred towards your son is insane. She needs therapy. Not the asshole he's not excluded because of a consistent rule of no kids. He's being excluded because he's the child of someone bride doesn't like. This will occur at every event Ash is a part of if you allow it once. Every single time she'll try it. Dot. She's trash, but your brother is the real villain here for allowing his nephew to be mistreated like this. It's 100% on brother to grow some balls and speak up here. Not the asshole she's immature. She can't deal with a five-year-old who is about to be part of her extended family. How does she plan to handle future gatherings with that side of the family? Not the asshole. A grown woman banning a five-yo is ridiculous, and your brother is a ridiculous asshole for letting this bridezilla act so offensively to his brother and his nephew. Not the asshole. Your brother is mad at you and wants family there. Except his nephew, bad news speed racer, nephew is family. I'd personally let him know that due to this he doesn't have to worry about seeing your OR your son. He's made his position clear, and he's evidently marrying the most immature person on the planet. The only asshole in this story is the two getting married. Oh no, definitely not the asshole. What the fuck is wrong with him even entertaining asking you much less be serious about it. If he wants his family there then he needs to tell his fiancée to, to grow the hell up, because you and your son are his family. How the hell does he think your son will feel in 10 years when he sees the wedding pictures and he's the only one not in them? That's assuming the marriage lasts that long because she's immature as hell. Not the asshole you're actually always fine to decline a wedding invitation no matter the reason and you don't owe the couple anything more than your timely regrets. In this situation, I don't think you're being unreasonable at all as your son is being specifically excluded to manage the emotions of the bride since she doesn't appear able to do that herself. Not the asshole. She's marrying into this family, he is gonna be her nephew now too and needs to see him this way. Is she not going to want him at Xmas and Easter because he's her sworn enemy's son? How is he going to feel once he knows his aunt hates him? This is not how you treat children in your own family. If there were no kids allowed at the wedding it would be different but this is her scorning a child in her new family for no reason. Ask your brother if he is okay if you never let his wife into your house because she is the sworn enemy of your son's mother. Not the asshole, idk what kind of beef your ex and Tara have exactly but Jason didn't do anything he's just a kid. It would be understandable if your ex came along with Jason but it'll just be you and your son right? 
Not fair for a little five-year-old to be excluded when he didn't do anything wrong. Not the asshole. This is a red flag. If she is that petty after all this time, your brother needs to run away as fast as he can. Not the asshole. WTF is your son not your brother's family. If everyone else is okay with it then clearly they're out of their minds and why would you want to go hang out with them anyway look of triumph. Not the asshole and also why the hell is your brother marrying this woman? Not the asshole it'd be one thing to have a no kids wedding, but she's singling your kid out due to who his mother is. Keep being a good dad. Not the asshole. I would never speak to my brother again. She is a child. He is an absolute coward. What a shit sibling. Not the asshole. She needs to grow the hell up. Your son is about to become her family. If she doesn't want him there, then no kids at all. To exclude just him is cruel. The fact that your brother is going along with this is horrifying. Not the asshole. Sure it's their wedding and they have right to invite anyone they want. But you also have the right to decline. She's being extremely childish and taking it out on a child. How is this going to play out in the future? Is your brother going to be allowed to visit and spend time with his nephew? What about family holidays? Will your son be automatically excluded? What kind of bullshit is your brother on? I understand supporting your partner but not when it's utterly ridiculous. Not the asshole. The STB wife is just being petty. As you said, your brother is stuck between a rock and a hard place. So, not that I'm saying you intend to. Don't be too harsh on him. Though your other siblings are being total tailpipes for their response. Edit. Wow, my first silver. Thank you. Tara is the A because she is thinking excluding a five-year-old is gonna make her day perfect. Worse, she is going to be part of your family now and you have full-time custody of your child who has nothing to do with Tara's bullshit, sworn enemy, if you go to this wedding it won't be the first time you will be expected to deal with this so it's best to make the statement now if Tara can't be a normal adult. Not the asshole. Honestly, your brother should have seen this is a red flag. Once Jason gets older, he can't be excluded forever. Tara will either not come or cause drama over this. Not the asshole. Absolutely ridiculous and the fact that your brother is going along with this bullshit is pathetic. Your siblings are absurd. What if it was their kid? What's next? He can't come to Christmas dinner. Stand hard now. NTA. In my opinion this is not just going to be about this wedding. It's about how Tara is going to treat one child of the family differently than the others from now on. Drawing a line now is the right thing to do. Not the asshole. The bride is marrying into your family which includes your son. If she is already excluding him before even knowing him, your brother needs to rethink his marriage. What happens at Christmas, Thanksgiving and summer vacations? Not the asshole. Your kid should be your number one priority. If your brother and future Sil can't accept that, they are not worth your time. They will try to play this card again at future family events and you need to stand up for your kid and put a swift, fierce stop to their BS. Not the asshole. She isn't planning a child-free wedding, she wants an every kid but yours wedding. She is the R, and your brother seems to be leaning toward that category too. This is a hill to die on if she excludes your son now, she's going to expect to be able to exclude your son always. Don't put up with it he's feuding with a five yo she's never met, and your siblings think it's okay, so that doesn't say good things about them, either. Not the asshole. You brother, Tara, and your siblings are, but you are not. Not the asshole. you shouldn't punish children for the mistakes for their parents. Especially if it's petty bullshit. You tell your other siblings they shouldn't bring their kids either if it isn't a big deal. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. But this won't stop after the wedding. Your relationship with your brother is probably toast unless he can get his fiancée to see how unreasonable she's being. Not the asshole. he wants his family there but is totally okay with his nephew being excluded. Does he not consider your son family? None of this makes sense to me and it's so gross that she is willing to go out of her way to try and snub a literal child in the most petty way over something that happened almost a decade before he was even born and has absolutely nothing to do with you or him. If I were your brother I'd be embarrassed to call her my fiancé. Get ready though because if he does marry her without figuring this out, this little mentality of hers is probably going to extend way beyond just their wedding watch her start throwing tantrums because your son is around on Christmas or something. Not the asshole. Have to ask, though, how hard up is your brother? Is this the first girl he's ever spoken to? Who marries someone who has a sworn enemy? He will never have a day of peace on his life. If you and your son move to Mars, 
This maniac will have endless imaginary grievances and your brother will be desperately trying to avoid the landmines. This isn't about your son. This is about your brother bringing eternal misery to himself and his family. Run. Consider yourself lucky that she's giving you a head start. Not the asshole. How can she marry the brother of the man who had a child with that witch? Wow. Your brother and his soon-to-be wife are big R. The kid is innocent, plus he is your kid and family. Dot. To exclude a five years old is disgusting and petty because kid's mother who is not even in the picture had issues with brother's soon-to-be wife in HS. This is going to be a bigger issue since Tara is going to be in the family. I would be very wary how she is going to treat the kid. Wow. Disgusting. Not the asshole. Your brother needs to put a stop to this stupidity. What happens when Tara wants to include your son from every family event she will be at from now on? What a terrible thing to do to an innocent child. 